welcome back so in this video we'll uh, discuss on the ddos attack so we'll uh, see the practical demonstration on the ddos attack so here uh, for this demonstration i have a web server i uh, have configured this windows server 2019 as a web server it is running with iis and uh, i'll also note down the ip address of this machine So this machine's IP is for 10.10.10.8 and also I'd like to check the performance of this machine. So the performance is quite stable and CPU utilization is just 5%, 7% and memory utilization is just 65% <clears throat> and the network utilization also is a very big, uh, very little. And now we'll uh, proceed with the attack. And these attacks can be even launched with a simple ping command also. I can just uh, use the simple ping commands. So let me increase the font size so it shall be visible, better visible for you. Okay, so so usually we use to uh, ping the uh, destination to know whether we are getting the response so you can see the response it is using only 32 bytes so uh, which will not uh, create any big impact in your uh, uh, network traffic but still the using the simple ping command itself we can use we can uh, attack the target by producing continuous ping by using hyphen t and also we can define the length of the packet so usually it is taking 32 bytes here i am going to give uh, something around 50 65500 bytes so this is the maximum uh, number of byte which supports in the ping so usually when uh, when you use the ping command it is going to use the icmp protocol so let me try this and again with a single ping operation will not get much uh, difference so let me repeat the command multiple times we'll verify here and here you can see the traffic utilization goes up so it, it goes uh, beyond uh, uh, I think uh, it, it is it is going beyond uh, 4, 4 mbps so uh, from a single computer if you are targeting uh, this attack obviously you cannot bring down the target so where uh, usually the attackers what they will do is they will plan this attack uh, uh, to be launched from uh, multiple devices so uh, maybe a, a group of uh, attackers uh, will uh, uh, will start attacking this uh, at the same time or uh, you can even uh, they can also uh, do by uh, spreading a uh, botnet uh, into the public internet and uh, uh, at a particular time when they want to uh, launch the attack so they will uh, send the instructions to the botnet to uh, launch the attack so immediately all the botnets uh, maybe uh, the botnets will be uh, installed in any of the internet users com computers so from there even lakhs of your devices or, or, or multiple lakhs of devices may get compromised with this kind of botnets so through which they can launch this attack so obviously with this uh, uh, with this kind of ping attack itself the target can be brought down uh, again and this kind of uh, botnet based uh, dos attacks uh, even finding the uh, real perpetrator uh, that is the real attacker is going to be a, a hard uh, uh, a hard thing for the uh, in forensic investigators but still uh, it will take long time but uh, finally we can find the uh, person who uh, initiated this attack and uh, even uh, 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 we can also launch attack through some other options so the, the since uh, the, when you are using the ping command it is using the icmp packet so more, uh, most of the organizations they might have uh, blocked the icmp in the firewall itself so by uh, by uh, ping of death attack so whatever we have done here is the ping of death attack so by uh, performing the ping ping of death attack is not going to be possible in these cases 
So even attackers may find some other solutions if you any web server is hosted. Obviously, port 80 or port 443 is going to be open. So through that port, uh, the attackers may flood the packets. So they may flood the uh, ACK uh, packets or they may flood the SYN packets or more. So here I'll show you how to perform the uh, SYN attack. So that is uh, SYN flooding. So SYN flooding, uh, I believe, you know, uh, in the previous videos we have discussed about the uh, TCP flags where the SYN, SYN flag is used for establishing the connection. So where attacker may uh, send many uh, uh, SYN packets to the target, so through which the uh, target can be brought down. And now uh, for, for using this uh, SYN flooding, we can also use a tool called HPing3, which is a famous tool in uh, uh, Kali Linux operating system. So we can use this hping3 command. Uh, hping3 is basically the command and hyphen v is to uh, get the verb loss output and hyphen c is to uh, define the uh, size of the packet and uh, hyphen d is to define the, uh, no I'm sorry, uh, hyphen d is to uh, define the uh, size of the packet and hyphen c is to define the number of packets that has to be sent and hyphen s is to define the uh, sin flooding that is to define the sin packet and hyphen p is to define the port and here i want to target the port 80 and again hyphen hyphen flood and uh, finally the target ip so by giving this command we can uh, uh, consume more resource of the target let me see what happens and here we can see we are not able to access the virtual machine itself so let me stop this command by pressing ctrl c we can stop the proceeding of the command and here you can see the network traffic was uh, utilizing up to 11 mbps and even you can also see the cp utilization went high now let us try to uh, increase the packet size so let me add one zero so we'll just wait for a few seconds then let me stop let me go to the virtual machine again you can see so there is a huge spike and even in the network utilization also you can see there is a huge spike so by doing this continuously obviously to uh, 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 get a success in this kind of attacks you need to have a huge amount of resource so basically the resource should be higher than the target so in that case most of the attackers so they will be uh, doing this uh, as a group a group of attackers will be targeting one particular ip so through which they can bring down the target so this is how they uh, launch the ddos attacks and that's all for this demonstration so we'll discuss the rest of the topics in the upcoming videos. Until then, bye-bye.